Bash of Bobcat students and families. We are super excited to have our kindergarten through second grade students back on September 14th and our third through sixth grade students back on September 21st. Boys and girls and families, you're going to notice a few things different this school year. And all of these things are designed to help keep you and our staff safe. We have new procedures for how we're going to be walking in the hallway, how we're going to be dismissing students, um, how we're eating in the cafeteria, even how we're going to be using the bathroom and participating in recess. We are super excited to have you back, but all these things are done to make sure that we are staying safe and staying strong together. One of the things, boys and girls, please make sure to do is to have a face mask when you come to school. Uh, parents, we have outlined a lot of these new procedures in our S'mores newsletter that's going out this week, so please be sure to read that. Also, keep an eye out for any communication from parent or from your teachers. They have a lot of information that they will be sharing with you. So boys and girls, we will be seeing you on the 14th or the 21st, and don't forget to mask up. Basha Bobcats, it's Mrs. Anderson, your Dean of Students. I am so excited to have you back. I want to talk to you about recess. Recess is obviously different. Mrs. Beck will be explaining information about your buckets at recess for your equipment. Now, if you're in grades two through six, what happens is your recess time is separated into zones. There's an A, B, and a C zone, and those zones are for recess, for your grade level recess. At grade level recess, you get the full zone during that time. At lunch, those three zones are broken into two, so there are six zones total. Each class will rotate through the zones during a six-day rotation. So for instance, if you are in zone A at your grade level recess, you might be in A1 or A2 for lunch. You'll have to check your schedule. And then the following day at grade level recess, your zone will be B zone, the next one will be C zone, and it'll go from there. We have schedules that will be in your classroom and there will be maps to show you exactly what we're talking about. In order to social distance and to make sure you stay with your classroom, each classroom will be in one zone at a time. So each class has their own zone. You have to stay in your zones and those zones will be marked by colorful cones. And so that will give you an idea of where you need to stop and what you cannot and can pass. So. We look forward to seeing how awesome it is to have you guys on the playground. And if you have any questions, be sure to let your teachers know or feel free to find myself or Mrs. Beckett. Thank you. Hello, Basha Bobcats. It's Mrs. Beck, your school counselor. Hi, I'm Mr. Wagner, PE teacher. So we are so excited that you are going to be back at school and I bet you can't wait either. Recess is gonna be a little different, but you of course will get recess because you're gonna need some time to get your wiggles out. So just to give you a little bit of a sneak preview, recess is going to be in zones. So your class is gonna be assigned a zone. There will be six zones at, re at lunch recess and you will follow it just like a six day rotation. You'll be in a new zone every day. What's gonna be in that zone you ask? A bucket with fun stuff. We've got all kinds, of, we'll have a soccer balls, we have four square balls, we have some of these cones where you can set up to have a game. If you're in the basketball zone, of course, what are you gonna have? A basketball. Every zone will also have a couple of game suggestions. If you're, real, if you're wanting to try something new, here are the directions. You might remember playing Switch last year. So there's directions for that. 
And then we're going to show you a new game called Concentration Ball. All right. So Concentration Ball, the person who has the ball gets to pick the topic. They're going to then say the person's name. They're going to throw it to that person, and they have to name something in that topic as well. All right, baseball teams, Cubs, Mrs. Beck. Diamondbacks, Mrs. Anderson. Mets. <laughs> Giants, Mrs. Beck. Yankees. City of Padres. <laughs> Marlins. Um, you have three seconds to think of one. One, two. What happens if you can't think three. of one? Then you're out, and you have to do either some jumping jacks or um, some lunges. And after you do five of them, you can come back in. That's a new game, Flash of Bobcats. Whether you are in kindergarten or sixth grade, it is super important that after recess, you always pick up after yourself and put your equipment back in the bucket. We need to make sure we take careful care of our equipment so that it lasts and so that we don't lose it. So Bobcats, be awesome. Looking forward to seeing you.